Okay, so we're here with Rich from Pittsburgh Audio. How are you, Rich? I'm well. How are you guys doing? We're doing really well. We're oh. running around the whole show shooting videos. Oh, I love fun. Superbooth. This place is so much fun. Well, we are here, and we're not necessarily showing anything new this year. You know, Tig has been out for two and a half months or so, and in the world of synthesizers, that's, that's basically ancient, it seems like. But we are very proud of it, and we, we have our nice artificial grass and our artificial poster. So we're, we're very excited to show what we have. The stand looks great, and man. We have a lot of people getting their hands on Taiga for the first time here at the show, which is very cool. So I have a little sequence generator here. We can see what sounds it'll make. That's kind of nice. What Taiga is, is it's a three oscillator monosynth. It has, its sort of specialty is that each oscillator has a dedicated wave folder. You have a combination then of additional wave shapers in there as well that give you really unique waveforms and unique sounds. We call the the wave shapes, the initial wave shape you start with, we call them seeds. And the reason we call them seeds is you never see that coming out. So if you look at it on a oscilloscope, you would never see something that looks like a sine wave or a triangle wave. We've shaped it internally enough that uh, they just look a little bit different, but they sound like you would expect them. And that's sort of the magic because that allows our wave folder then to hit it in really interesting ways and get sounds that maybe you haven't heard in anything else. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, the analog world is so full of, this is my SH-101 clone, or this is my Moog clone, where we really take our inspiration from the world around us and what's happening in the world of digital synthesis, because digital synthesis is so exciting and new, and everyone has this amazing new thing that sounds wild. Um, analog hasn't had that for a long time. So what we're trying to do is say, no, we can innovate at the same rate that digital can. And Taiga is a good example of that, where we're adding unique features to the world of analog synthesis. Another bit of what the sound we're listening to is the Dynamics Controller. And what that does is it's like a, a Pittsburgh version of a low-pass gate. So you get these very organic, plucky sounds that sound like you're, you're hitting a, a drum or you're you're out in the woods and you it sounds like the, the sounds decay naturally. And that's a big part of the sound. We can add some resonance to that as well. Let's get these really very strange sounds we have going today. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very physical sound. And I think that's the important part. You know, with analog, the physicality of it is so important. That's why, you know, the. The, the look of it, the different color knobs, it's all part of the experience of using an analog physical instrument. And the other thing we are, we do have a couple new things that we're sneaking in here. We didn't announce them. We haven't even really told anybody. The people that come by, we'll show it to them, but we're showing our local parks oscillator and we're showing the Toad phase shifter. Now that the Toad specifically is maybe my favorite panel that we've ever done. It's just oh. fantastically weird. It's got a red toad with a, the, the LFO is the eye, and I, I don't know, it just makes me smile every time I see it. And it's a 12-stage right. analog phase shifter, so it sounds really, really good. I have a drum beat going here that we can sort of turn up. And listen to, we have got a, a bunch of different sounds going on. I've got the snare drum going through the phase shifter. You can hear that paired yeah. with some cymbals. The cymbals are our narwhal module. And this is our idea of sort of uh, analog physical modeling, where we're using analog you know, resistors and capacitors to create something that sounds real so these sound like symbols but the nice thing is you can tweak a knob and they get they just fall apart and become very digital and synthetic but if you want that sound it's right there yeah 
it's kind of like circuit bending it live. Exactly, exactly. And we, you know, you can hear the snare drum. The snare drum sounds like a snare drum. And again, that's all analog circuitry. And we can do the same thing. We can pull out the drum and just get, like if you turn the snares off a snare drum, that's the sound you're going to get. And we can modulate this as well. Brighten it up. Like I said, I have it going through the phase shifter right now. So the sound is a little synthetic on its own, but we call these uh, experiments that we're working on. And the toad is certainly one, the drums are certainly one. We use these as a test bed for our upcoming instruments. So, you know, we have a kick drum, a snare drum, some elephants, which are like general drum sounds. And then we have our, our cymbals. So, you know, I don't want to give anything away here, but we're probably working on a drum machine, maybe. Right. I don't know. Uh, and then we have the local parks, which is, this is an, an oscillator that really celebrates square waves and all the square waviness you can get oh, out of square nice. waves. Excellent. It's, um, I'm not going to plug it in because it'll be end up way too loud or something, else, but yet we've shaped, we're working on a voltage lab too, and we want to shape square waves and waves that hasn't happened before. So you have pulse width, but we're going to do pulse height as well. So we create a step that you can adjust and you create stairs then and you can set where that goes. So this is this is a way for us to experiment with that and with some other stuff like uh, digital ring mods where you know you mix two square waves with ring mods together. It's just fun. It ends up with uh, a very interesting sounding oscillator, very powerful oscillator, uh, cuts through all the mixes. <laughs> Sounds really great through a low pass filter. Excellent. So these are, these are just the fun toys we're showing here at Superbooth. Uh, it's nice to come here and not have a brand new announcement. You know, there's a lot less pressure. I've lost the luggage with all of our gear in it now two years in a row. So it's nice to know, okay, even if we don't get our gear back, it's okay. You know, we're not counting on it, but uh, we're having a lot of fun talking, especially about Taiga, which we're so proud of. You know, it's been out there two and a half months. And the response has been so positive. And to see people use it and get weird sounds out of it in person, it's been great. Uh, so thank you for uh, stopping by and talking with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Rich. Really like the stuff.